This is In the Wild with Chris. Uh, for many years I've used my uh, military issued sleeping bag system consisting of uh, two sleeping bags and a bivy bag. They have a synthetic filling and uh, very nice and warm and it can, I can sleep out in this climate no problem. But they, they weigh a little bit more than for example a down sleeping bag. So I invested in a down sleeping bag, a uh, Marmot Sawtooth which I'm going to try out and uh, give a re review on. But uh, first, let's go inside and uh, take a look at the specs of the sleeping bag. So, the Marmot uh, Sawtooth long version is a uh, down-filled uh, sleeping bag. Got a fill factor of 650. Uh, it's uh, the long version, which means it's uh, 198 centimeters or 6 feet 6 inches. It weighs just above uh, 2 pounds, uh, 1.2 kilos. It's mummy shaped, meaning it's a little bit more narrow to uh, it's a little tighter fit, keep more warm air in. The one I got got a full length zipper on the left side. It has a uh, short zipper on the right side to be able to open up a little bit more. It's got a down filled top with extra drawstrings to keep it tight. A little pocket here to put your uh, phone, flashlight and such. In the bottom of the sleeping bag is an extra pocket where you can put in little uh, hand warmers or feet warmers. I prefer a hot water bottle but uh, this is quite useful. The temperature is rated for is uh, for females it's down to 20 Fahrenheit or uh, minus 6 degrees Celsius. Uh, for men it's uh, limited down to 8 Fahrenheit or minus 13 and in the extreme it's minus 27 Fahrenheit or minus 33 centigrade. Now remember the extreme is not for sleeping comfortably. That's for keeping you alive for about six hours in extreme temperatures not for comfortable sleeping. But remember the temperatures a sleeping bag is rated for is under the conditions that you have sleeping pads that insulate you from the cold ground, that you have a tent or a bivy bag, and that you're protected from the wind. And also the other tips that I've gone through before, I mean wear a light base layer, make sure you get your blood flowing before you crawl in, and uh, drink something warm and eat a bit before going to sleep. The sleeping bag is treated with the uh, Marmot's Down Defender. It's a treatment to give it extra protection against moisture on the outside. At the bottom it has some extra straps here to be able to hang it up more easily to dry. For storage at home you get this big bag along. You can uh, store it long term. Uh, down doesn't fare very well when it's compacted for a long time. You also get this small bag so you can uh, compact it and uh, bring it along when you're hiking and camping. And tonight the temperature is going to drop to about minus 5 centigrade or about 23 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's uh, perfect weather to try it out. And uh, well, let's see how this works out tonight. Okay, so uh, time to crawl into my little uh, trench bivouac. Uh, use my new sleeping bag, so hopefully it'll be pretty warm. So it's uh, almost minus eight degrees centigrade, and uh, we'll see how the sleeping bag holds up. But now I'm going to do the acrobatic maneuver of climbing into this little hole here. Well, the sleeping bag feels uh, nice and cozy. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if this, uh, if the trench and the bivy bag is kind of cheating, but uh, I think I'm going to have a cozy night here. So, see you in the morning.
Well, the sound got kind of screwed up there in the last, but uh, as I was crawling out of the sleeping bag in the bivouac in the morning, I was saying I had a very warm night in this uh, sleeping bag. It was down to uh, minus eight, minus nine centigrade, which is 15, 16 degrees Fahrenheit. And I was warm and cozy the whole night. But just remember in a sleeping bag like this, you want to avoid having direct contact with the snow. Uh, I had good, uh, had several sleeping pads underneath me, but I was too close to the walls. So if I got touched the wall, I could feel the cold through the sleeping bag. But other than that, great sleeping bag. So the Marmot Sawtooth sleeping bag, uh, I would recommend it. It's a good sleeping bag. As long as you don't go out on these extreme winter campings where it's uh, very cold. But otherwise, yes, it's a great sleeping bag. And I'm really glad I bought it. So, uh, Marmot Sawtooth, thumbs up. Well, if you uh, enjoyed this, found this useful, please uh, give it a like, uh, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, this is In the Wild with Chris, and I'm out.